Okay, so the FedEx truck just stopped at my house, and that's always an exciting thing. Got this. I thought I had a rod coming. This is from Legacy. Okay, so I think I'm just going to assume that the rod is coming in a separate order, but I'll open this up, we'll see what's in it. All right, let's see what we got here. I know what it is, you guys know. Bam. Corrado 150 MGL. Ooh, it's tiny. That's like SLX small. Oh man. Dude. That is sick. I can't wait to use this thing. All right, on to the rest of the video. All right guys, how we doing? Today I figured I'd bring you a video talking about my collection of rods and reels that I'm going to be using going into the 2022 season here starting in just a few months. Uh, right now it is actually January 31st and my first tournament is March 26th. So I have maybe a month and a half until I'm gonna be out on the water. So can't wait to start using these rods. Let me show you what I got. So I'm gonna start with spitting uh, cause I only have four of those and then I'm gonna go on to everything else. So uh, let's start with this. So <clears throat> right here, starting off, I have a Dobbins Sierra 702 spinning rod um, paired up with a Shimano Noski 2500. And uh, this is primarily going to be uh, a drop shot rod. Um, maybe Nico, maybe other little finesse stuff, but primarily a drop shot rod. I've used it a decent amount this past season and it's just a fantastic drop shot rod. The 702 is known uh, for being really good at that. So that's number one. Next, another rod that I've used extensively this season is the Daiwa Tatula Elite. It's upside down, but it's the Daiwa Tatula Elite, uh, seven foot all around. And that is with a Daiwa Tatula uh, 3000 on there. Again, this is a rod that I've used extensively this past season. A lot of uh, shaky head on this rod primarily is what I used it for. Now I mostly use shaky head on casting rods, and I'll get into that. But this is primarily going to be a small jig rod. Uh, right here, you can see I have a little 2.3 inch or something like that. A little 2 and some change inch Lunker City Grubster on there I was using late fall so that's number two now these are both new spinning combos to me uh i believe this is the seven foot medium yep seven foot medium fast action uh shimano zodius spinning rod and i on there i have the uh get out of the way vanford 2500 this combo feels incredible um, I already love the Zodius rods and the casting models, uh, so I figured I'd give the spinning rods a try. The seven foot medium is primarily gonna be used for wacky rigs, um, Texas rig drop shots, and just uh, lighter weight Texas rig stuff all around. So um, that's what I'm gonna use this for. That's number three. And last for the spinning combos, I have the seven foot medium light uh, Zodius, and that's paired with a Daiwa Tatula. 2500. Primarily this is going to be a light drop shot, Nico, hair jig, other finesse stuff, and that's mostly what this is going to be used for. I have 10 pound braid on there, probably going to use a 6 or 8 pound leader. So that's what this is for, that's number 4. And that will wrap it up for spinning. Okay, so the rest is going to be casting. Some of these things I haven't used yet, but I'm excited to use them for this upcoming season to test them out and see how I like them. So to start off, this is one that I have not used yet. This is the Falcon Cara uh, 611 Heavy. It's the eye crosser model. And uh, this was made to be a frog rod, but I've also heard it's a fantastic close quarters flipping rod and skipping rod, like around docks, uh, submerged brush, wood, trees, things like that. So that's primarily what I'm gonna use it for. I have it spooled up with 50 pound braid and I have a Shimano Scorpion XG on there. I flip a lot of shallow stuff 
And on one of the lakes in particular, there's a lot of shallow wood in two to 10 feet of water that I'm gonna be flipping with this. So need something stout to get them out and something short to make those close quarters flips around docks and trees and stuff. So I'm excited to use that one. Next, this is a rod that I have used and I've caught, I believe one fish on it this past season because it's not something I throw a ton, but uh, this is the Dobbins Fury 795 SB swim bait rod. And on there I have a Corrado HG, just a Corrado K and a 20 pound Berkeley big game mono. On there, I have an S waiver 168. And this is actually the exact S waiver that I caught my fish on this past season. So again, not something I throw a ton of swim baits, but I have it just so I can when I'm feeling a little rowdy. Next. So I have a St. Croix, seven foot two, medium heavy moderate. This is my uh, shallow to medium crankbait rod. It's very whippy. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's great for crankbaits, and that's primarily what I use it for. On here, I have a Spro Rock Crawler. Um, I wouldn't really throw anything on here that dives more than 10 or 12 feet. Uh, you really want a heavier rod for that, but this is perfect for anything up to 10, 12 feet is perfect. And on there, I have a Shimano SLX. Um, just the 6.3 gear ratio, slower for cranking. Uh, so that's that combo. Next, this is just a great all-around combo, and then I, I've used it a lot this past season for basically anything. Um, this is the seven foot medium heavy Shimano Zodius. And on there I have the Scorpion cause it just matches and it looks awesome. Um, but yeah, I was throwing shaky heads on this, weightless flukes. I was flipping with this. Basically anything you want to throw on, you could throw it on a seven foot medium heavy. So it's just a great rod to have around. Next, this is the infamous Dobbin 734. This is a rod that I've used extensively this, this past season for flipping. I've used it for moving baits, um, jigs, just anything that you need it to do, it'll do. I've used it for top water. I have a review on this rod and you could go and watch that and see exactly what I use it for, but basically everything. Uh, on there I have a Shimano SLX uh, HG, so that's the 7.3, 7.2 gear ratio with 30 pound braid and I could tie on whatever leader I want and use this rod for whatever I want. So I love that combo. Next, this is a new combo to me. This is the Shimano X Pride, seven foot two medium heavy glass. This is going to be my new chatterbait rod for this season. Uh, previously I was using a Dobbins Colt uh, 734 and that is an amazing chatterbait rod, but I wanted to give a glass a try and I wanted to try something a little higher end so I went with the Shimano X Pride and on there again I just have a Corrado K uh, HG so that's 7.3 or 7.3 gear ratio or something like that um, right now I have braid on here but I'm gonna throw on probably 15 or 17 pound Seaguar and Vizex or whatever I feel like throwing on there I prefer to throw chatterbaits on fluoro so that's what I'm gonna put on there uh, but let's see what do we got here next we have a Daiwa Rebellion. I love this rod. I made a video comparing this to the Shimano Zodius, uh, but this is the 610 medium heavy and it's a regular action actually. So it's a little more moderate. It's a little softer tip and I love that for moving baits, uh, but it also does an amazing job at throwing um, Texas rigs and uh, finesse jigs, especially it throws finesse jigs phenomenally. And on there I have a Daiwa Zillion 7.1 gear ratio phenomenal reel super smooth it's like butter and uh i can't wait to use this more this upcoming season next let me roll my sleeves down because it's cold in here next what do we got here this is a rod that i've i used this past season but not a ton i got it relatively recently and i was only able to use it a few times out but it's the uh Shimano Poison Adrena, seven foot two heavy. And on there, I have a Shimano Cronarch uh, XG. I primarily use this for flipping jigs and casting jigs. It's an amazing jig rod. It's super sensitive. It's very lightweight and balanced well. And uh, it's a little softer for a jig rod, but I kind of like that because I, I set the hook pretty hard. So I kind of like the, a rod that absorbs that hook set and absorbs the head shakes of big fish. So really like this rod it's probably going to be in my arsenal for a while 
I don't like the word arsenal, but it slips out every now and then. These aren't weapons, these are fishing rods. Anyway, uh, next. Another Poison Adrena. So this is a seven foot three medium heavy Poison Adrena. And on there, I have the new uh, Corrado 150 MGL. Now this combo just looks gorgeous. And I'm loving this reel. I haven't used it yet. It just came in the other day. It's, it's the one that I unboxed in the beginning of this video. It is so small and compact. It's basically a Corrado, but in the frame of an SLX. So it has the build quality and feel of a Corrado, but the small frame and even lighter weight than an SLX. So this combo feels amazing. Uh, primarily I'm going to be using this for moving baits, but it'll also do the bottom contact just fine. Probably uh, finesse jigs and lighter flipping applications is what I'll use this for. Another new rod to me. So in the beginning of this video, I was looking for a rod tube that didn't get delivered. It got delivered that same day, just on a different truck. And this is it. It is the St. Croix Victory 6.8 jerkbait rod, 6.8 medium. And on there I have a, a Cronarch HG, Cronarch MGL HG. I've used the Mojo 6.8 medium jerkbait rod and I love that rod for jerkbaits. So I figured I would love this rod too. We'll see. There's, I can't think of any reason I wouldn't love this rod. It's so light. It's like 3.3 ounces. And with the Cronarch on there at like 6.7 ounces, we're at right at 10 ounces for, for this combo. So it's super lightweight. Should be very comfortable to throw a jerkbait all day. And uh, can't wait to use this in the spring. Ah, one of my favorites. One of my longtime favorites. This is the Dobbins Colt 734 that I was talking about with a Shimano SLX HG on there. I did a review on this rod talking about how much I love it, especially for the value and the, and the budget. This is a $180 combo and it just does amazing for moving baits. Uh, swim jigs, chatterbaits, spinnerbaits is mostly what I'm gonna use this for. So I'm gonna use it in conjunction with that 7.2 medium heavy glass X-Pride, uh, whether or not it's gonna have a different color chatterbait or I'm gonna have a spinnerbait on here and a chatterbait on that X-Pride or if I want to throw square bills on that X-Pride, uh, I could throw a chatterbait on here and just have a ton of versatility. So I love this rod and it's going to get a ton more use this uh, upcoming season. All right, next is a new rod to me. This is the Dobbins Champion 703. And on there, I have an SLX MGL. I love this reel. I've used it as a jerkbait reel, but it's now going to be living on this rod, which is basically going to be for uh, finesse jigs, Texas rig Sankos, and weightless Texas rig uh, flukes. And that's something I throw a lot. I throw a ton of weightless flukes. So this is primarily going to be throwing those, but it'll also double as a topwater rod if I want to throw a braid on here. Um, just a super versatile rod, and I know it's gonna be an asset in my lineup, and that's why I got it. And last, but definitely not least, is the Shimano X-Pride seven foot three extra heavy and on there i have a chronarch hg with 50 pound braid and this is going to be my frog and rod and also double as my punching rod this rod is known super well known as being an incredible frogging rod it's very lightweight i believe it comes in at about 4.6 ounces and it balances relatively well i'll show you here i think it balances almost right in front of the uh, locking knot, basically right there. So it balances very well, which is what you want for a frog and rod, especially if you're gonna be walking the frog all day, it gets very tiring. So to have something lightweight and pretty relatively well balanced is very important. Uh, before this, my frog and rod was a Dobbins Champion 736. And while that's a phenomenal fragging rod, has a ton of power and the perfect action and tip for walking a frog through heavy cover, um, it was just really heavy. I think that rod came in at six ounces plus whatever reel I had on there. So, you know, it wore me out. And again, phenomenal rod, but I think this is going to serve me a little better being almost an ounce and a half lighter. So I'm excited to catch some monsters on this rod this year. So that about wraps it up. I have a giant, I have a mound of rods here. Here, I'll show you. It's kind of ridiculous. And I guess that's what I want to finish this video by saying is that yeah, this many rods is ridiculous. It is not necessary at all, but fishing is something that I love and it's my passion and it's something I want to do for the rest of my life. 
so I don't mind putting money into what I love. Um, to me, it's an investment. Maybe not the greatest investment, but it's an investment by definition. So yeah, for those of you that think this is ridiculous, I agree with you. It is ridiculous and totally not necessary. Like I said, this is my passion and this is what I love to do and I have the means to do it, so I'm gonna do it, you know? So I guess with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments about any of these rods that I showed you today, please feel free to ask in the comments. If you like the video, leave a like. If you enjoy what I make, please subscribe and hit the bell. It helps me out a ton. I'm trying to grow, you know, I. YouTube is something that I really want to do and that I plan on investing a lot of time into. So if you guys could support that, it would mean a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll see you next time.